Being a celebrity seems like the best thing ever. You are admired and respected by the public, along with getting paid very handsomely for your work. But of course it's not all well and good, and there are some major drawbacks. These drawbacks cause some celebrities to leave the business for good. I'm Mackenzie and let's get into the top 10 celebrities who left Hollywood for a normal life. And at number 10, Jamie Lynn Spears. Jamie Lynn became a household name when she starred on the hit Nickelodeon show, Zoe 101. It seemed like her career was going to take off and she would join the ranks of huge Hollywood actors. But that all changed when Jamie Lynn announced that she was pregnant at just 16 years old. Instead of chasing her Hollywood dreams, Jamie Lynn decided to step back from the spotlight to raise her child. After this decision, Jamie Lynn was quickly forgotten about. She later told Glamour about the decision, quote, I just wanted to get away from it as much as I could, to just go away and be a mom and figure out what I wanted, and to earn a sense of respect back for myself. Move to a town in the middle of nowhere and just raise my child. All I could be was a good mother. This move resulted in Jamie Lynn getting married and having two children. However, even though Jamie tries to keep a low profile, she is still a public figure. This became even more obvious when she was recently hounded online over her sister's Free Britney movement. And at number 9, Shirley Temple. Whenever I think of Shirley Temple, I think of my fond memories watching her as a kid. She was so talented, it's truly hard to wrap your head around. Temple is probably the most famous child actor ever, with her starring in numerous films a year while she was only a child. However, once Shirley started to grow up and phase out of her classic youthful look, her career started to decline. After years of trying to break out of her typecasting and get back to the success she had as a kid, Shirley decided to give up on acting and retired from the business at the age of 20. But her career as a public servant was just starting. She later became the US ambassador to Ghana and Czechoslovakia. She was also the first woman to hold the position of chief of protocol of the United States under President Ford. And at number 8, Frankie Muniz. Frankie Muniz is another star that made a name for himself while he was just a kid, starring in the hit show Malcolm in the Middle. But after many years as an actor, he decided he wanted to change a pace and he decided to become a race car driver. He was so good he even competed in the Las Vegas Grand Prix. According to People, he has endured several concussions from competing in the dangerous sport, and in 2009, he suffered a serious car crash. This ultimately led to two mini strokes, one in 2009 and one in 2012. Because of this, he has experienced some memory loss, but his family helps him fill in the pieces. At one point, he said he would return for a Malcolm in the Middle reboot, but that has not happened yet. And at number 7, Taylor Momsen. Taylor Momsen was first known to the world for her character Jenny on Gossip Girl, where fans grew to love her girl next door look. However, as the years went on, Jenny changed dramatically on and off the show. Apparently, while she was still on the show, she decided she wanted to quit acting to focus on her music career. In 2011, she officially quit and started recording with her band, The Pretty Reckless. Momsen told The Daily Beast in 2014, quote, When I got to a place where I realized I was in control of my own life and had just found the right band and everything was coming to fruition, it wasn't even a question. I was going to quit my day job. She continued that thankfully producers wrote her out of the show and supported her decision to leave the show early. And in number 6, Kevin Jonas. The Jonas Brothers will always be my first crush. And as the brothers have grown up and gone in and out of the spotlight, it seems that Kevin has not really returned. After the brothers decided to break up their band in 2013, Kevin decided to go back home to New Jersey and earn a more traditional living. He created an app called Yude, which displayed nearby restaurants serving the type of food that you pick from a menu. It also featured the restaurant's Yelp rating and phone number so you can conveniently place an order. He also made a real estate development company where he builds custom homes. And this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to his entrepreneurial efforts. When the brothers briefly got back together, Kevin was present, but he's now gone back to civilian life while Nick and Joe maintain celebrity status. Halfway number 5, Nikki Blonsky. Nikki Blonsky's success was something out of a movie. She auditioned for the movie Hairspray in an open casting call and managed to snag the part over thousands of other people. She was just a regular girl whose world got turned upside down. And you would never know it because of how great she played the role. After her breakout success from the movie, she experienced some lulls in her career and wasn't able to gain the same success again. At one point she even needed to get a real job again to pay her bills. This theory gained traction when a picture went viral showing Blonsky sweeping up in a salon. Then in December of 2011, she tweeted out, quote, It's true I'm working at Superstar Salon as a makeup artist and more I'm proud to be working and helping pay bills, but I'll never lose sight of my dreams. 
And at number 4, Mara Wilson. Mara Wilson was the adorable girl who played the part of Matilda in the 90s movie that stole all of our hearts. It's one of my all time favorite movies. Wilson became a star overnight and even got a place in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But even though her whole career was ahead of her, her dreams were not to act. She decided to quit acting at the height of her career to pursue her true love, which is writing. She's now a published author and has released a book about her life. Wilson is also a spokeswoman for depression, anxiety, and other mental disorders, as well as the LGBTQ community. And at number three, Chris Humphreys. Chris Humphreys was somewhat famous while he was a basketball player, even making some pretty good money in the process. But his fame exploded when it was rumored that he was dating Kim Kardashian, which we now turned into an epic disaster. The pair got married quickly, but got divorced even faster. And after their uber lavish wedding, Kim filed for divorce only 72 days later. But after his life became a public spectacle, Humphreys couldn't deliver the way he wanted to on the court and decided to retire from basketball in 2019. Since he was very well known in the sport, he easily could have went into broadcasting or even coaching. But he decided to retire out of the spotlight and now he's a real estate agent along with a franchisee of Crisp and Green, a health food restaurant chain based in Minnesota. And at number 2, Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz first made a name for herself in Hollywood after she starred in the hit movie The Mask. She then went on to star in huge movies like There's Something About Mary and Charlie's Angels. She she was last on the big screen when she starred in 2014's Annie. A few years later in 2018, she announced she had retired from acting. She explained that she really didn't miss performing. She also had recently become a mother at that time and wanted to focus on her family. She also explained on the Goop podcast that she wanted to be independent and navigate the world as an adult on her own, even adding that the movie business babied her, making her live her life the way that they wanted her to. She now runs a successful wine company called Aveline, which is a clean wine company. And finally, number one, Meghan Markle. I guess calling Meghan Markle's life normal is a bit of a stretch, but she did leave the acting business to pursue a different venture as a member of the British royal family. Meghan became a household name while she was playing the character of Rachel Zane on Suits for seven seasons. While she was filming the show, a friend of hers set her up on a blind date with Prince Harry of all people. They fell in love and decided to get married. One condition of the marriage is that Meghan would have to give up her celebrity status, move to London, and dedicate herself to the royal family. So she decided to leave the show early and start her new life as a royal, although the decision brought her even more attention than she ever had before. Because of all the scrutiny the couple received in and out of the family, they decided to leave the royal family shortly after. And they are now back in LA, embracing their celebrity status once again. So that's all for the list guys, let me know your thoughts on this one below. But before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from celebrities we need to forget about next year. Snoot said, yes, but I propose the list be way bigger than 10. Uh, I feel like we could definitely make a few, a few parts of this. People we need to forget about in 2022. A lot of people. Vanessa said, Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly preach to that. I don't know, they just annoy me. Kind of like Olivia Wilde and, and Harry Styles, I don't like them either. Both those couples annoy me, just go away. And MLG Gamer said, yeah, let Haley and Justin enjoy their relationship. I agree, I mean, if they're doomed, they're doomed. We don't need to comment on it. Yeah. All right, guys, all for the list today. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media, and I'll catch you all in the next one.